hello guys so here and welcome to another episode of our exciting tutorial video in this video we're going to look at this amazing chat widget that you see on my screen and trust me this is one of the nicest radial chat that you're gonna find and these are the ones that can really catch your attention and you probably want to take an action okay so for those of you who are joining us for the first time we've started making tutorial videos on various chat widgets that you can use for tracking key performance indicators and we started off looking at this very chat we looked at this we've looked at this and now we're gonna look at this okay so without wasting time let me head straight onto my sheet and let's get right into it all right so we are going to create a copy of this sheet okay remove it here we create copy and it comes here all right we're going to get rid of this and we're now going to insert our new radial chart okay now the radial chart that i earlier showed you has two data series so this one for this and then this one for this all right so we're gonna do exactly that okay and then i'm going to show you another variation of it that is if you have more key performance indicators okay so let's get straight into it we are trying to insert this chart we need to now select both data series not only one data series but both data series okay and then we go to insert we click on the chart and we come to donor chart all right so we have inserted two data series for our radial chart all right now when you click on this you notice that instead of tracking the score and the remainder it is rather going this way and then instead of you know the other data series so instead of tracking the score and the remainder is going this way so what do we do we need to switch the rows and column right the row and column so we just click on the chart and we come here and we switch all right so once we switch then it corrects the the chart it corrects it now it's looking at the, the score and then the remainder for the first data series and then the square and the remainder for the second data series all right so take note there are two data series if i click on select data and i come in here there's a the first one and then the second one that's pretty much what we mean by data series these are two separate data that are in the chart right so we now have to just clean up you know the the radial chart so to clean it up we come to format we get rid of the fill and then we get rid of the fill outline and then we can apply our own colors you know you can choose any color that you want so the first one okay when you double click on this that means you're trying to assess one data point that is for this in this case you are assessing the eight nine percent this one's going to be the eleven percent all right so we come here we select you know the fill this one and then this one we can make it transparent right so it's a solid fill and we make it 90 percent transparent and then we select this one also we double click to select this data point and then we can choose this very one we double click on this also and then we increase the transparency to this so there we have it we've already created it now we just have to insert shadow to the chart or to each of the data points right and there we have it we've created our new chart widgets all right now there's gonna be so these are two basically we are comparing two you know data points or two key performance indicators all within the same radial chart so what it means is that each of them is going to have a separate score and then there's going to be an overall score so in order to get an overall score what we do is that we introduce an average score because when you are doing overall score, you cannot do a sum a sum you cannot sum percentages you need to do an average of the percentages so we do an average of these two and then we get another score right so that's an average of the two right and then we click on insert text box we use the equal sign to select the score and then we can increase the font size to like 40 let's see 40 percent oh sorry 40 and then we can change the font if you want all right so we put it in there we can 
give it a unique color i prefer to give it a color you know this color and then we can make it much bigger to fit the size of the chart okay let's see 70 percent all right so we go to ship fill sorry ship format we get rid of the outline and then the fill and then there we have it okay so there are two key performance indicators with an overall score in here so i can insert some text boxes to see that there are two um, key performance indicators all right this one is for risk assessment and this one is for their sorry workplace inspection this one's for risk assessment and we can format them so risk assessment is the blue one okay the blue one 18 put it in the center remove the shape and outline fills and then we also do the same for this to 18 and it's gonna be this okay remove the shape fill and then the outline so we have to keep performance indicators we can decide to put a score you know on it like this one is 89 this one is 92 this one is 89 that but there's no space for doing that if you want to do that maybe to take some time okay so it all depends on you if you think you want to include an individual score for each of them you can do that so this one will be for the workplace inspection all right and then you can put it somewhere if you think you can put it you know anywhere that you want okay for now i don't want to do that okay so all we need to do is just group you know our chat elements and then it becomes a complete widget which we can use so i just come here to change the property to don't move or size with the cell and then i can apply okay the filter so we've done that let's go and look at so that's exactly what Yes, I mean we plan to do okay so actually there are scores there if you want to put score there you can do that so that's exactly what I did I put some scores there and then the 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 description of the you know the charts or whichever KPI it is I put it at the top so we can do the same thing it all depends on you if you want to put them side by side like this or you put the scores individual scores on it in the form of text box you know to reference each of the data series that's all up to you okay so this is very exciting you know chart to use for your kpi reporting and in real case now you may probably have more than two kpi so let's look at an instance where we have more than two kpis all right so i'll add additional kpis let's see now one interesting thing about table is that the moment you start typing additional kpi it's going to extend aut automatically right so let's add training there you have it and then we add um maybe work permits right so we want to copy the same data extend the subtotal and i want to make it a bit different so let's say um there is a um, there's a target of 500 as well and let's try to reduce i don't want it to be equal i want to make sure that you know they're all different totals so that we can see exactly which one is the it's performing better all right so we can simply extend this so this is referencing this is the target is the same all throughout this is referencing this this is referencing this as well so we've already you know sorted it out this average is gonna be for all of them now all i need to do is just select the score and then the remainder for each one of them i go to insert donut chart 
okay so we have these ones and then what do we do we switch the rules there we have it so we've been able to ensure that each of them is for the kpi this one is also for this kpi this one is for the other kpi right it goes on and on like that okay so this is something very exciting right so we're just gonna choose whichever color we want we can start with maybe the blue we can start with okay let's make all of them the same because we're gonna do something so we select not data point but just everything hold on everything so that's blue this one will be let's say green this one will be yellow and this one will be maybe red all right now we come to each of this section and we make it transparent so this one is going to be transparent this one is going to be transparent this one also transparent and then this one as well okay so we've been able to create another variation of this progress chart and we introduce the shadow at the end okay all right there you have it so all we need to do is just insert our text box for the overall score we drag it to the middle make it big enough and then we format it okay let's say 80 percent and then we give it a very nice color okay now we can take our time to name the each data series that is all up to you but it's going to take some time so for example we can see that okay first one is going to be workplace inspection the other one is going to be risk assessment another one is going to be the training and the last one okay that's for the work permits okay now we take our time to format okay so this one is gonna be for the first one so we can make it blue as well remove the fill we make this one that's green right green we also remove the fill and the outline we make this one the yellow one and then this one also becomes red okay all right so once we have this we can try to align them properly so they all have to center and then make sure that they're all aligned we could, we could align them to the left side so that they are all properly you know arranged okay so with this and we also clean this up so with this we can insert each score to it right so to insert each score that's also gonna take some time i'm hoping this video doesn't take too long okay so um with this we bring it all the way here we resize it and then we re you know repeat it for each one of them for each one of them right so this one we put a user equal sign to select the 
work permit so that's 50 percent this one so guys you get a whole picture you can actually take your time to do that i don't want to waste too much time okay let's see training is for this um risk assessment is for this and the workplace inspection is this one okay so we can select all of them remove their fill and then the outline we center it we, are, we make sure that it is properly aligned to the left and then we can resize it properly and align it to each one of them i think there's an extra text box that i need to remove so just remove that okay so this one we can change the color to blue this one to green this one to yellow this one to red okay each one of them can be grouped together so let's quickly group all of them we can group them group this chart together with the donut chart group everything and there we have it we have our new dashboard okay another thing that i'm supposed to be doing i'm supposed to make sure that i freeze the chart by making sure it does not move or resize the cell and there we have it we've created we've created a unique radial chart okay so there's something you can use for your reports if you want to increase the size of the donut all you need to do is just go like this let's make it 50 let's say 50 percent and there you have it guys this is something very very nice okay so you can track key performance indicators for various um I mean, can track the score for various key performance indicators in this beautiful chart okay so this is chart four all right so i'm going to see you in another video bye for now cheers